Hello there, fellow anglers, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking you on an unforgettable journey across South Carolina's top lakes for trout fishing. Whether you're a seasoned angler or a beginner, these lakes promise some of the best trout fishing experiences you'll ever have. Get ready to discover hidden depths, battle monstrous trout, and create memories that will last a lifetime. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Chapter 1. Lake Jocassi, where legends lurk. Our first stop takes us deep into the heart of South Carolina, to the pristine shores of Lake Jocassi. Nestled amidst the ancient Appalachian foothills, this 7,565-acre lake is a sight to behold. Imagine crystal-clear waters plunging to depths of over 300 feet, a breathtaking vista of towering mountains, and beneath the surface a hidden world teeming with life. Lake Jocassi isn't just a pretty face, it's a haven for anglers seeking trophy-sized trout. The state-record brown trout, a behemoth weighing over 17 pounds, was pulled from these very depths. The key to unlocking its secrets is understanding its depths. These trout are cunning, often lurking in the cooler, deeper waters, especially during the warmer months. Power bait, with its enticing scent, can be deadly effective. Spinners, mimicking the flash of bait fish, are another surefire bet. And of course you can't go wrong with good old-fashioned live bait like nightcrawlers. Lake Jocassi truly offers something for everyone, a place where anglers can connect with nature and chase their dreams of landing a legendary catch. Chapter 2. Lake Murray, a trout fishing paradise. Next, our adventure takes us to the sprawling waters of Lake Murray, a 50,000-acre behemoth located in the heart of South Carolina. Lake Murray is home to both rainbow and brown trout, and these fish have a reputation for their fighting spirit. The lake boasts a record rainbow trout weighing in at over 11 pounds. Lake Murray's waters are teeming with trout of all sizes just waiting for the right angler to come along. The key to success here is to match your tactics to the conditions. When the water is cool, you'll find these trout patrolling the shallows, chasing after bait fish. Spinners, with their enticing flash and vibration, can be deadly effective. As the water warms up the trout will retreat to deeper, cooler waters, that's when you'll want to break out the salmon eggs or power bait. Lake Murray truly offers a complete outdoor experience, a place where you can relax, recharge, and pursue your passion for trout fishing. Chapter 3. Lake Kiawe, the Emerald Giant. Our next destination takes us to the shores of Lake Kiawe, an 18,372-acre emerald giant nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Lake Kiawe is renowned for its healthy population of both rainbow and brown trout, and these fish grow to impressive sizes in these pristine waters. The lake holds the record for the largest brown trout ever caught in South Carolina, a behemoth weighing over 12 pounds. Whether you prefer casting from the shore, trolling from a boat, or exploring the lake's many coves and inlets, you're sure to find a spot that suits your style. One of the things that makes Lake Kiowee such a special place to fish is the abundance of natural food available to the trout. Power bait, with its potent scent, is always a reliable choice, especially when fished near the bottom. Lures that mimic the movement of bait fish such as spinners and crankbaits can also be incredibly effective. And if you're feeling adventurous, try using live bait like nightcrawlers or crickets. Just be sure to check the local regulations before you go, as some areas may have restrictions on bait types. Hold on to your hats folks because we're heading to a hidden gem in the heart of South Carolina Lake Greenwood. Spanning over 11,400 acres, this lake is a paradise for anglers seeking a thrilling trout fishing experience. Beneath the surface, Lake Greenwood holds a secret, a thriving population of rainbow trout just waiting to put up a fight. The state record rainbow trout, a behemoth weighing over 10 pounds, was pulled from these very waters. These trout are known for their acrobatic leaps and their relentless fighting spirit. One of my go-to techniques is to use spinners, those flashy, vibrating lures that mimic the movement of bait fish. Another deadly effective method is to use plastic worms fished slowly along the bottom. These soft, lifelike lures are irresistible to trout, especially when rigged with a finesse presentation. And if you're looking for a more natural approach, try using salmon eggs. These little nuggets of protein are like candy to trout and they can be incredibly effective, especially during the cooler months. 
Get ready to cross state lines, folks, because our next destination takes us to the mighty Lake Hartwell, a sprawling 56,000-acre giant straddling the border of South Carolina and Georgia. This lake is a legend in its own right, renowned for its stunning beauty, its world-class fishing, and monstrous trout. Anglers come to test their skills against some of the biggest, most aggressive trout in the southeast. We're talking about fish that can reach over 20 inches in length. The key to success on Lake Hartwell is to understand its depths. This lake plunges to depths of over 180 feet, and those deep, cool waters are where you'll find the biggest trout. Hold on tight, fellow anglers, because we're about to embark on an adventure to a lake with two names, but only one reputation in credible fishing. Lake Thurmond, also known as Clarks Hill Lake, is a 71,000-acre behemoth straddling the border of South Carolina and Georgia. Lake Thurmond is home to a wide variety of fish species, but it's the trout that really get our hearts racing. These aren't your average run-of-the-mill trout, mind you. The key to success on Lake Thurmond is to understand its nuances. This lake is a master of disguise with its countless coves, inlets, and hidden backwaters. One of my favorite ways to target trout on Lake Thurmond is to focus on the areas where the current breaks up the water. These areas known as current seams are magnets for bait fish, and where you find bait fish, you'll often find trout. Another productive technique is to target the lake's many points and humps. A medium action spinning rod and reel combo spooled with a good quality monofilament or fluorocarbon line is my go-to setup. Get ready for a change of pace, folks, because we're heading to a lake that's often overlooked, but never underwhelming, Lake Watery. This 13,700-acre gem in South Carolina is a haven for anglers seeking a peaceful trout fishing experience. This lake is teeming with trout and these fish are hungry. The trout here may not be giants, but they're feisty and determined. Lake Watery's serene atmosphere makes it a special place to fish. As you cast your line into the still waters surrounded by nature, you feel a sense of peace. Chapter 8, Lake Bowen, Small Lake, Big Surprises. Don't let the size fool you because our next destination packs a punch. We're heading to Lake Bowen, a 1,534-acre jewel nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Lake Bowen may not have the sprawling acreage of some of the other lakes on our list, but what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in heart and in the quality of its trout fishing. This lake is home to a thriving population of rainbow trout, and these fish are fighters. The key to success on this lake is to think small and to fish finesse. These trout are accustomed to feeding on small insects, crustaceans, and bait fish, so your presentations should reflect that. One of my favorite techniques for targeting trout on Lake Bowen is to use small, lightweight lures that mimic the natural prey of these fish. Small spinners, jigs, and soft plastic baits, fished slowly and methodically, can be deadly effective. Another productive strategy is to use live bait, such as worms, crickets, or minnows. Chapter 9, Lake Moultrie, the black bass haven with a trouty twist. Get ready for a wild ride, folks, because we're heading to a lake known for its bass fishing, but with a surprising secret. This 60,000-acre giant in South Carolina is home to a thriving population of rainbow trout. Lake Moultrie is a hidden gem, perfect for escaping the crowds and experiencing a unique fishing adventure. The key to success is finding the bait fish, as trout are often hot on their tails. Chapter 10. Saluda Lake, an urban oasis. Hold on to your hats, city slickers, because we're about to discover an urban oasis in the heart of Greenville County, Saluda Lake. This 330-acre gem may be small in stature, but it's big on heart and even bigger on trout fishing opportunities. Saluda Lake is a sanctuary for both anglers and trout alike. It's a place where you can escape the concrete jungle and reconnect with nature, all while pursuing these elusive and rewarding fish. What sets Saluda Lake apart from the crowd is its accessibility. Whether you're a seasoned angler or a newcomer to the sport, you'll find something to love about this lake. Its manageable size makes it easy to navigate, and its abundant shoreline access provides ample opportunities for casting a line. But don't let the ease of access fool you. Saluda Lake's trout are no pushovers. One of my favorite techniques for targeting trout on Saluda Lake is to use small, finesse-oriented lures that mimic the natural prey of these fish. Small spinners, jigs, and soft plastic baits fished slowly and methodically can be deadly effective. Well, there you have it, folks. 
our whirlwind tour of South Carolina's top 10 trout fishing lakes. We've explored hidden depths, battled monstrous fish, and shared secrets that will make you a more successful angler. But most importantly, we've reconnected with the simple joy of being on the water, rod in hand, pursuing these elusive and rewarding creatures. We hope you enjoyed this epic tour of the top trout fishing lakes in South Carolina. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. A special thanks to all our subscribers for helping us grow. Tight lines and happy fishing.